Tyler, make flower electronics. Y'all. Again. Y'all's not part of the name of your company. No. But Mayflower Electronics, y'all. All right. So last time you were here, we talked about headphones, and um, you recommended lots of... You've probably tried more headphones than, I'd say, 94% of our audience. Yep. I've tried most of them. Yeah. So 6% of our audience go screw off. For a little while and come back later, we'll be done talking about audio stuff since you know more. But 94% of you guys, you're gonna watch, you're gonna wanna watch this. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna talk about speakers. Yep. Now, I'm not really a speaker person uh, other than studio monitors because I need that for making music. But right. tell us what you're gonna do. So uh, this video is uh, a guide, uh, like if you've seen any of our budget headphone stuff or how to make a headset, uh, this is gonna be more or less like that. Um, I wanna begin with saying is that if this is the first video you're watching, um, and you have no headphones, You have, this is your only audio purchase at all, do not buy speakers. Uh, you will get your best uh, bang for your buck, dollar for dollar with headphones. If um, you just care about sound quality. If you just, if you, yeah. Some people just, just want a noisy room though. Right. You know, and uh, yeah. So, like I said, if, if you want sound quality. Have kids. Or yeah. If you want a noisy house, have kids. <laughs> Don't have kids. Don't have kids. <laughs> kids. Uh, everybody watching with the kids right now is like, hey, they hate children. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and talk about the speakers here. So uh, this, these are dirt cheap and awful. Why would you recommend these? Uh, if you have, if you need something to play music other than headphones uh, and you have no money, uh, I actually use these um, uh, when I was a kid and I had no money and they sound okay for $13. Yeah. That's with cheap. shipping. So. Yeah. Their speakers, they make sound. If you need something, you have no money. Um, these are the best you're gonna get for $13. So, and they work. Yeah, pr pretty full bandwidth response range for something that's this cheap, but I mean, yeah, don't expect the speakers to sound like butter or anything. No, it's, we have to start somewhere and this is where we're starting, so let's just, let's just move on then. Yes. Because some people want a little bit of bass. I think a lot of gamers, they, they want something that kicks a little bit. Even if it doesn't sound amazing, they want something that has a little bit of rumble. More immersion. Yeah, more immersion. Um, and I can't believe that, it's, I didn't know that you could get um, a, a base, a, a subwoofer for, for this price. I'm not imagining it's gonna be amazing, but. No, it'll move air and it'll make a thump. Yeah. Uh, and you get two satellite speakers um, and then 30 bucks with shipping. And you have to imagine how much money it costs to ship that stuff. So you're looking at least 10, 15 bucks. Yeah. So. I also, <laughs> get, getting a unit that has um, a bass speaker in the floor will do a lot to actually improve the sound quality. Even if it's a cheaper, you know, cheap quality stuff, mm -hmm. just separating the uh, the upper and mid frequencies from the bass frequencies and having them in two separate spots can really do a lot. Also, I, I've seen people do this, and I, mostly Apple users, but they put their sub on the table, mm -hmm. put it in the floor, you'll get a better bass response. Stuff bounces everywhere, so try to use that to your advantage, you know, like, even with some of my treble speakers, I've found pointing those in the corners sometimes, depending on where you are in the room, can give you better sound or, you know, a more full sound, I don't know. Yeah, getting it correct is this is way more difficult than obviously just putting headphones on your head, so. Yeah, uh, you got a whole room to mess with. Right. And it's gonna sound different if you're in a basketball stadium versus uh, your bedroom or your bathroom. Right. You know. All right, next up on the list, a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, these are from uh, Rosewell. Um, we're just going up in price from now on. So for every, you know, just with headphones, the more you spend, generally the better you get. Um, these are decent. Uh, they're an upgrade from the $30 set uh, that we just showed. Um, more inputs. All right, moving on up. Same price. Um, these are made or engineered in Germany. These are more aesthetically pleasing than the other ones, uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah, they're, they're that clean, minimal design, but you know. And you get the sound uh, thing on your desk. Yeah, so. for, for volume control and whatnot. So there you go. See if there's any pictures at the back of this thing. But moving on up again, now we're getting into something a little different. This does not come with a separate bass speaker, but these are gonna give you nice, uh, they, these are designed as uh, almost, they're, they're like really cheap studio monitors. Right. So these are powered. And I'll let you go ahead from here. So uh, and I, we should actually go back. So this first half of this video is all gonna be powered uh, speakers. Um, so this is just plug and play. You plug them into the wall. You plug your input in from the PC and they work. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get into some more stuff later on. But uh, so these are, uh, as you said, these are more or less studio design. They're more uh, a flat frequency response. So if you're making music and that kind of stuff, you kind of want, you want flat. Um, obviously it doesn't go with the subwoofer, but it'll sound, the sound quality of these satellites will be better than 
the equivalent 2.1 setups. Yeah, now so. the thing about this is you can spend the money now. I mean, we're, we're jumping up into the $79 price range. You can spend the money now. And then this is what I did. I bought a couple studio monitors and then like I was like, they sound pretty good. You know, they have a couple different speakers to separate out the you know frequencies for, it's, it's better to do it that way. And then I was like, you know what? I want a little more bass. So I grabbed a uh, sub mm -hmm. for about a hundred bucks from mono price and I threw it in the floor. And now I've got plenty of bass. And I've got a really nice 2.1 system. Yeah, so you can always add to these. If this is a starting <laughs> point, it'll get you clean, clear audio. Um, I mean, it's probably not gonna be as flat as some of the fancier, you know, Yamaha's, Mackie's, whatever, right. that are out there on the market. And I found a lot of the studio monitors, they say that they're flat, but they actually roll off the top end to give them a smoother sound, but it's not fully accurate sometimes. Right. Sometimes st studio monitors can be fatiguing. Mm -hmm. They can really, but, you know, you, sh you can go on, if you really get into the music creation, you can go and read reviews all day. That's not this. This is just for home use. So. Right. All right. Uh, you got one here from eBay. Yeah. These are, uh, after I got a little bit of money when I was a kid, you know, I actually got a job and stuff. This is what, this is my next upgrade. These are uh, actually all right. I've used these before. Yeah. Before. They're actually really good. Uh, you, you have to buy them used on eBay. Um, you're fine most of the time. If they're bad, send them back, whatever. But these are fantastic. The subwoofer is really good. Uh, satellites aren't the greatest, but... Um, for a hundred bucks, free shipping. These are really, it's a really good 2.1 setup. You know, so. the, these speakers, I, a lot of my friends had uh, uh, these and we go over land parties. I just remember like these being like where the music came from and stuff. Like someone would turn them out and like turn them up and you'd be like, oh sweet. We've got some music going on and it's got some bass and there's background noise and maybe not the cleanest things I've ever heard, you know, but they're also a hundred bucks used on eBay. So again, yeah. Budgets. If you want to have a lot of bass and you want a game, you got a hundred bucks to spend. These are a great option. All right, moving back over to uh, Amazon. Uh, let's check out some Mackies now. Uh, Mackie, they they make tons of stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I had a really high quality Mackie recording board growing up. Uh, my dad had some studio monitors from Mackie, and uh, here we see see a decent pair uh, of, of reference monitors. They're in the lower price range from Mackie, but uh, there they are. These are, if you want um, studio monitors for 100 bucks and you're making music, uh, I would pick these up. Yeah, good, decent, decent reviews. And also, you can uh, always add on stuff, you know. <coughs> you can always add a subwoofer to this later or whatever. Now, why, why are we looking at this car amp? What is, what's, what's, what's going on So, here? I'll explain a little bit more, but um, this is going to be your best, probably bang for your buck, under $100, period. Um, so, all of the speakers we looked at before are powered, i.e. You, you plug them in the wall and, you know, it, it all does it powers themselves. So there's other speakers that don't have this. These are just bookshelf speakers. Um, and these need an amp. Now, um, that's that's where you get your best best value because as with like gaming headsets and just headsets in general, when you buy something like that, they have to cram multiple um, things into one product. I.e. so with power monitors, they have to cram, you know, the speakers themselves and then the amp into one product and make it all work and that kind of stuff. Um, so this is now you're just, when you buy a product, like this with bookshelf speakers, you're buying just the cabinets, the speakers, and that kind of stuff. And then you can focus more of your money on each um, product in your lineup. So you can make sure you have a good amp. You can get a good, decent amp, worry about that, and then you can get good, decent um, bookshelf speakers, and then you can make sure you have the best value of both sides of the um, audio chain. So this is uh, the LiPay amps. These are gonna be the absolute best thing you can get for around 20 to 30 bucks. Um, this is actually, uh, I think it's supposed to be used as a car amplifier. Yeah, it's got a spot there where you can screw stuff down, like, you know, on the, you can see here. Ooh, look there, you can you can screw this down, I'll screw it to your desk, but it'll, it, it's, it also has a plug there. So. It's a little ghetto, but this is uh, a yeah. very, very good value. Uh, it's 40 watts. Um, you can plug it in at home, just like a normal speaker, uh, speaker amp. Um, and it has enough juice um, for what you're going to be doing. I mean, you're not going to be using this amplifier to power, you know, like a studio. It's just for, you know, you're in your desk and you've got bookshelf speakers and that amplifier has enough juice to power them. So, um, LiPay makes that model and I believe the 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, that model I just showed before, uh, that one has a little bit more power, a little bit more expensive, a little bit bigger. Um, it's an option, but one of those two amps, and then when we show, you know, in the beginning, or further on, uh, these bookshelf speakers. Here's the, here's the little guy. It's a cheaper, but I'd probably go with the bigger one, but this one, if you, some people are gonna go with this just based on the aesthetic, you know? Right. It's like, I, I, it's, it's, you're listening to it, not looking at it, but right. if you're putting it on your desk, yeah, people come over and be like, wow, you, you've got shitty stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they turn it on and then play it, and then, oh, it sounds oh, good. Sounds all right, yeah. 
It's bookshelf speakers. Yep. Um, so from these speakers from now on, you're gonna you, you need to have an amplifier. So pick up one of those two uh, lead pan amps, and then we're gonna look at these bookshelf speakers. These are the Dane Audios. Um, they're forty bucks. They're decent, you know, two way speakers. Um, it's probably gonna sound just as good as some of the hundred dollar plus. 2.0 powered speakers you're gonna get and you'll save a couple bucks so, but I mean you, you some people are still gonna want to add a sub to this I right mean, on top of that it, you may be able to go ahead and get by with this right now and just have some uh, you know nice clean sound but if you want some boom I, I would say if you're just gaming and you want the boom and you don't really care about really high quality you know yeah listening to you know music yeah, listening just, and all that sort of thing plug and play powered stuff it's, get the, get the 2.1 yeah but this is going to be better sound quality, not so much the boom and, you know, the theatrical stuff, the immersion. Right. So also in the bookshelf world here. And these are just an upgrade. Uh, they're not actually carbon fiber woofers that wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are uh, better uh, domes. Um, they're going to sound better than the regular uh, rubber domes and the and the other ones or whatever mm -hmm. they're made out of. So it says upgrade. carbon fiber. It's not carbon fiber. What if <laughs> it, it is? It's not. It wouldn't work. I really like the stuff that Monoprice is doing. Uh, these three-way bookshelf speakers. So, I, I mean, something like this. You've got, you know, your mids, your highs. Check that out. You got a tweeter. There's your uh, mid mid range and highs, and then your, your ooh, earthquake going on here. <laughs> but yeah, something like this for the price. I love what Mono Price is doing. They they have this sort of no nonsense attitude. This is a Mono Price powered uh, unit. Just to give you an idea, what like a Mono Price looks like over here. Um, but yeah, by the way, Monoprice didn't give us any money for this video. I just really like their stuff, so deal with it. But this is one of the Monoprice powered ones, just to give you an idea of you know like what it looks like, uh, the build quality and all that. But I really like what they're doing, and I've actually switched over on my personal rig, um, switching from the Audio Engine A5 Plus to a set of Monoprice uh, reference monitors. I found that they're they have a better, uh, they're they're actually cleaner. I wouldn't consider the Audio Engine A5 Plus uh, to be. Uh, a studio monitor at all. Right. It's just a speaker. It's a good. It's a good speaker, but it's not a. It's not a reference monitor. Right. And the Monoprice reference monitors uh, have cleaner sound. So I'm, uh, you know, pairing that up with my Monoprice sub that I already had. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the, the 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 sound quality you, that, that you're getting out of these, they're pretty damn good. You guys can look at some of the reviews, but uh, I would also highly recommend looking at, you know, just looking through the Monoprice stuff. And I mean, most of it's good. I haven't tried all of them, but I've listened to you know quite a few of them and they have been universally very clean sounding. So, yeah. As far as the build quality, I give it like a seven out of 10. You know, there, you can see some corners have been cut here on the build quality. It looks like there's a screw that's not perfect right there and all that around the edges. So these are, you know, they're the... Um, and it's not the fanciest whatever. I think it's just your plain. Just... Yeah, I think that might even be, a, I'm not sure how they did this yet. Oh, look at that. Um, oh, it must be the uh, laminate or whatever. Yeah, it might be a laminate over um, right. if you don't wood. care. If you don't care. Yeah, it's whatever. So this is video is I think 12 to 100. The next video should be like 100, 150 to I think 250, 200 around there. Mm -hmm. Mid tier. So if you're, um, if this is like, you know what, I've, I've got, I want to spend a little bit more money on speakers. Just go ahead and check out the next video and uh, we'll help you guys find some good speakers. If you have recommendations, maybe you know of a, I mean, we obviously can't listen to every speaker in the world. We could, but I've got stuff to do. So if you know of some secret magic Jesus speaker that we didn't talk about, go ahead and, uh, you know, talk about it on the forum and, uh, you know, get, get some conversation going. So we'll see you guys over there and we'll see you in the next video. And be sure to say thanks to Tyler from MayflowerElectronics.com. You're welcome.